Hello, my name is Christian from Trade Roller, trading with know-how and transparency. Like every week, we want to present a new video, but this time not about a single stock or a single company. We want to present today our five best stocks and also five worst stocks for the year 2023. Of course, in our own opinion and with all the details of what we found out about these companies. So just to make sure that you don't miss any of these videos in the future, subscribe here to our channel. I would be very happy and if you have any question or comment also leave a comment under the video itself. All the details we will also put in our description so if you have anything uh, just check out the description after the video here. And for the five stocks we want to have now a look here on our screen and see some more details uh, for the best and worst stock for 2023. All the details and all the stocks we are discussing now in the video you will also find in our free stock market community. You can just subscribe here on our website or you will also find the information here in the description below of the video. We will present our five tops and flops for 2023 with the TradeStation 10.0 from TradeStation Securities. If you want to learn something more about the platform itself you can also check here the video with the 10 benefits of the TradeStation platform. For me, it's still one of the best platform for stock and uh, future trading, especially if you see the price to use the platform with uh, real-time market data, even outside US is um, quite good. But let's stop with our, uh, start with our five flops. One of the first um, symbols is ENPH, Enphase Energy Incorporation. We also had this symbol in our trading view setups it was actually our first setup last year when it um, went up here from 180 dollar to almost 300 where we are at the moment so i think the problem is that it also was a good performance in the last year from Enphase energy solar company more information you also um, find here on finvis.com the earnings will be announced this week, so maybe if you check the video, you will also, also see some more information and already some jump. But what is interesting, especially we prepared here this radar screen, I hope you can see it, the performance of our five flops in the first month of this year. This you can see here, this was January and here we can see February and yeah, in January, I think ENPH together with our Second symbol, NOC, not proof Grumman. It's another very bad performing stock from Aeroface and Defense from USA. Here the earnings were already announced and we can see how the price went down from $550 to 440 especially here in January, same what we had in Enphase um, Energy. Pfizer is similar, it also had a very bad um, January, but at the end, the good thing is um, if you have maybe these five stocks in your list for a future investment and you can see a turnaround in the next few months, you will most probably be getting a better price than it was at the end of the last year. The fourth symbol is MKC. I mean, Pfizer as one of the biggest drug companies, I think, um, is well known. MKC is uh, packaged foods, also from the US. Earnings were also already announced at the end of January. Here the movement percentage-wise was not so much um, down. It was 10%, almost 10% in January. Here it's at least interesting on a level, on a support level here, $72 if exactly came back after the earnings were announced. So there's a good chance um, that we will hopefully see a good new uptrend uh, for the symbol maybe in the next few months. And the last one is Procter & Gamble. It only run 6%, almost 6% down in January. February is also going more or less sideways. Household and personal products was the is the industry and we have here earnings already announced at middle of January. If you have a closer look, we have the same screening below, but here I can see performance on a weekly basis. I can also break this down. This is a good thing here in a radar screen or in TradeStation that you can also do this for 
minute chart or 30 seconds. Here we do it on a weekly basis. And there we can see last week was pretty good, but the only stock really came back here with almost 6% from our flops was Enphase Energy. All the rest, just keep in mind how the S&P 500 uh, performed last year. We had only last week 2.4%. The rest you can see there is not really an uptrend at the moment coming. There are other ones, our five best stocks, tops of 2023. Even a few of them we traded. We recognize them also in our WhatsApp group, but you can subscribe on our website or below in the description. There was much better movement than last week, but we will have a closer look now, step by step. Best performing stock, I think, in January was Tesla and Warner Brothers, both almost 50%. Warner Brothers even a little bit more. We can also see here our trade when Tesla moved from the $180 almost to $200. That, for example, was one of the trades from our WhatsApp community. The good thing is maybe the bad thing at the moment for our five flops. Tesla was also moving down, um, especially in December or in the last four months in 2022, from almost $300 to $100. So it lost about like 67 p of the price what we had late summer last year. That's why I think the trend change in January also with the amazing earnings made a really good move up. And I think there's still a potential, even I closed the position here for our short trade. Tesla, I think, can still have a good potential, but it depends also how the market will move or continue the next weeks. I think many of you expected also not really a good start in the year in January, but we have to say, especially if we check here once again, how much um, did the S&P 500 do in January? Almost 6% and February, you can see here, is 1.1% at the moment for the first few trading days. I think Warner Bros, uh, Brothers and Discovery in cooperation so far also everyone knows what they are doing, but we will also have a look, of course, at these symbols where we will start with Warner Brothers, what yeah, came from $9 and had a few times really a very high call volume where we try to screen for institutional um, investors, especially here with our screening tool for options and the earnings here will come at the end of February. So it will be really interesting how the stock and the symbol of WBD will continue to move from. So Warner Brothers next to Tesla, I think the biggest and strongest movements in January, but even Western Digital with the symbol WDC had a really nice up movement. Also here, we will check some more details in Finvis computer hardware. Earnings were announced at the end of January. So I think these stocks, um, as they are already moved quite a lot in January, it's good to have a closer look and to see how they perform in February. I'm pretty sure after such a strong month in January, um, you should maybe better wait and get a cheaper price via short put position, for example, or there's many other ways uh, what I also described in one of our last videos. Um, once again, to see the performance in January of these five stocks. You can have a look here. Almost everything, more than 30%. The only one is um, Seagate Technology Holdings with the symbol STX. We can see it here. Also quite great up move. And for us, always important here, put and call volume, where we have a closer look if there's a really big outbreak and especially, like I said, in Tesla and Warner Brothers Discovery Incorporation, we had a lot of these signals, uh, which we also shared with some special setups or with some special option um, strategy in our WhatsApp community. And the last one, I think, here is NVDA, NVIDIA. Also here, I think most of you know the industry already 
the earnings were not announced. They come by the end of February. Semiconductors, um, same or similar what the AMD is um, doing for AMD. We also had a setup in TradingView, for example. But these are our five top stocks for 2023. Beside what we discussed earlier, the flops for 2023. Like I said, hopefully we can update you in the next few months with um, some more information on these stocks or if you want to really see them real time in our screening tool and when we discover them with a big institutional volume in option trading just follow our whatsapp community and uh, the details are in the description as well in our or on our website Yeah, I hope this uh, information was useful for you and maybe one of the stock is already in your portfolio or you can create one trading strategy with the information what we um, presented here. If there's anything else or if, there, if you have any question about these stocks from today or maybe you have a recommendation what you will share with us, you can also make a video for any new symbol, for any new stock, what you recommend here. Just make sure to subscribe to our channel. And don't miss any of our upcoming videos. I would be happy. Feel free to leave also a like and hope to see you soon. Thank you very much.